Please welcome the Democratic nominee for president, Vice President of the United States of America, Kamala Harris. And welcome to the biggest test of her career. One single speech that could make or break her chances of becoming president. She used the obligatory story of her upbringing to stress that she's from working class roots, not a San Francisco elite. And she said she wants to move America beyond bitterness and division and chart a new way forward. I know there are people of various political views watching tonight. And I want you to know, I promise to be a president for all Americans. You can always trust me. Ms. Harris says she wants to build a country in which everyone has the chance to succeed, accusing Donald Trump of being interested only in himself and his rich friends and claiming that re-electing him would be dangerous for democracy. In many ways, Donald Trump is an unserious man. <laughs> but the consequences, but the consequences of putting Donald Trump back in the White House are extremely serious. The war on Gaza has been the most controversial issue at this convention, with many Democrats furious about America's support for Israel. But she did not shy away from it. President Biden and I are working to end this war such that Israel is secure, the hostages are released, the suffering in Gaza ends, and the Palestinian people can realize their right to dignity, security, freedom, and self-determination. Robert F. Kennedy Jr. has just suspended the idiosyncratic campaign he was running as an independent candidate. He is one of those candidates, but he's turned his back on the Democratic Party and is now supporting Donald Trump. Uh, in about 10 battleground states where my presence would be a spoiler, I'm going to remove my name. And I've already started that process and urge voters not to vote for me. Uh, we just had a very nice uh, endorsement from RFK Jr., Bobby. Campaigning in Las Vegas, Donald Trump seems deflated low energy, as he might say. And he still hasn't found an effective line of attack on his Democratic opponent. She's considered to be the worst vice president in history. I don't know who the hell did that. If they do polls and they do studies, she's considered to be the worst vice president in history. She is the one with the momentum right now, raising over $100 million this week. Kamala Harris's job tonight was to look and to sound presidential. Of course, they loved it here in the arena. This is the Democratic Party faithful. The question is whether she convinced the nation. And whether this massive enthusiasm will translate into votes. Democrats here may feel as though they're already on course for victory. But polls suggest the race is still extremely close and there's a bruising battle to come.